Police and homeless advocacy groups are along the South Platte River, removing encampments that really become an eyesore. This cleanup is part of a week-long project along the river from Evans to Hamden. And as Denver 7's Russell Haythorn explains, there really is no place for the homeless to go. At the moment, many of these urban campers are in the process of packing up and gathering their things, but they say the problem now is, where do they go from here? There's tent after tent after ten of people. For those who call it home, it's some place to go. We're talking 150 people, and that's just from Evans to Hampton. This feels like a shakedown. Well, basically, uh, we've been evicted. Bennett Chamberlain has been camping along the banks of the South Platte for a few months now. I'm not hiding. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to survive. It's a mini city down here, if you will. Chamberlain even has a little bike shop. Build a bike, get a bike. Uh, you put it together to completion and it's yours. I don't want to leave all this trash. He keeps his camp clean. I don't want to see trash on the river. Personally, I go up and, up and down the river and I pick up all the trash after everybody. But police and residents say overall it's a mess and it's time for the trash, the filth, the stench to go. We're going to get thrown away, man. You don't want to pick up any of the trash because you don't know if there's needles in it or if there's human feces in it. You just don't know. We had a monumental amount of complaints from neighboring businesses, residents, and people passing through the area. Neighboring businesses say this sweep is far overdue. Police warned the encampment back in March. This day was coming. It's a lot of people and it's a lot of stuff, so I don't know where everybody's planning on going. Like, there's not enough resources for the homeless around in the metro area. The city of Englewood says it wants to help. We have mental health clinicians here. We have volunteers with local nonprofits here. This isn't a suitable place for people to take up residency. It's a floodplain. While no one questions that, Chamberlain and others are just left to wonder, if not here, where? Where do you go? I can't go north, I can't go south, can't go east, can't go west. I'm stuck. The city's expectation is it'll take about a week to move all of this out of here, and then they say they'll come in and reseed this entire area. They say it will no longer be a haven for urban camps. In Englewood, Russell Haythorn, Denver 7. Oh, fascinating. Thank you, Russell.